So, as you've seen in 2 Peter's chapter 2 and in King James Version in chapter 3, okay? So all I'm saying here, okay, I don't have an opinion because he, this rounds my life. This is my life, okay? And I see so much people on here. We are, um, brothers and sisters are, are on here and, oh, I know this and I know that. Um, once saved, always saved. Um, where's Jesus coming? Um, uh, I don't believe in the pre-rapture. I believe at the end that Jesus come back. Yeah, there's two. He's coming in the rapture and then he's coming in um, the second coming. That's for the Jews to save them from the Antichrist. Okay? Um, I'm stating, Jesus is not playing games. His word stands for his word. Read them. Read them over. Ask him to give you the wisdom and understanding in that. That states right there. Them that have known the Lord Jesus Christ. That ain't one saved, always saved. And they went and they turned into their own ways. Not this cute thing that's going on site too. Is Oh, they never truly was born again. That's not what that just said. Is it? That's not what Jesus just said. Jesus did not say that. Jesus did not say that. I mean, Paul, um, that had the Holy Ghost in him, he said that those that have known the Lord Jesus Christ, and let's go back to that real quick. I think my thing's still in here. Yes, it is. Flip it back over. Don't mean to be pain. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's see. Do do Jesus, 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 Jesus. Four. This is this is twenty. Second Peter's two twenty. Four. If after they have escaped the pollution of this world through the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, they again entangle themselves and overcome the letter and up and is worse with them than the beginning. And that means before they knew the Lord, it was going to be worse on them than they knew before the Lord. But there's another scripture in here, and it it's in the Bible, and I got to find it, where Jesus says that um, when we stand before God and he's going to say to a lot, yeah, I knew you not, yeah, you did this in my name and that my name, but I never knew you. Um, there's going to be people, he's, he's going to state to them, it's going to be, he it literally says it will be worse on you in hell than them that have not known my name, knowing me. And it's going to be worse in hell on you. So, again, for if after they have escaped the pollution of this world, sin, okay, of this world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, they are again entangled therein and overcome the latter and, latter and is worse with them than the beginning. For it has been better if they, them, not to have known the ways of righteousness than after they have known it, that to turn from the holy commandments and deliver them unto them. But it is happening unto them according to the truth proverb. The dog turns to his vomit. <laughs> now I know I'll get some milk. <laughs> I don't have people tell me. Uh, not so true. Once saved, always saved. It's under the blood of Jesus. It's under the blood of Jesus. Once saved, always saved. You will not go to hell. You will not go to, um, 
through his blood, he was praying for those that will sustain their faithfulness to God. Back in Matthew's, that when Jesus was praying before the Lord, and Yeshua was saying, "Father, Father, um, those that you have given me, and those that that are with you know stand," he says, "sustain them in that they do not fall away." And another thing too is, God knows our heart, and He knows it, who you are. He knows what you think. He knows every jit of your heart. He knows the intent of your heart. He knows if you are truthfully going on these sites and deceiving other believers. Yeshua knows. You ain't hiding nothing from my from my God, Yeshua Mashiach, Jesus Christ, the anointed one. Father God, I ask you, I send the word, um, Lord. And to you out there that don't know Jesus, you got to recognize that what Jesus did for you. And you got to recognize what Adam did to us. The... the, the I don't call, I don't, because the Bible don't have human in it. So, the image of God race. And you got to realize what is being said. You got to realize and check your heart and check the Bible and see if it's real. Check out, don't believe anybody, what anybody says. You find out to yourself, I know he's real because he's in my life. And he's been in my life since 1969. And I walked away as a teenager because I could not read. And then the Holy Ghost taught me how to read. And yeah, I mean, I, I still stumble, but so what? I know the Word of God. I listen to the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the Word of God. Jesus is the same yesterday and today and forever. Realize you are lost. Realize, well, this woman's telling me the truth then is Jesus really real? Then say, okay, Jesus is real. There is a judgment. There is a heaven and there's hell. And there's a lot of you going around saying the hell don't exist. That's another sign of the end times. That is the scoffers. And, uh, oh, I'll get hate mail, but I don't care. Your hate mail does not insult me. It don't mean anything to me. Just know, I just know who you are. And um, so does Jesus, though. But, shalom, shalom. Maranatha's going to happen very soon. You like it or not, it's going to happen. Jesus loves you. He's not playing a game, guys. He's not playing a game. Lord, your word is healed them, and your word cannot turn void. They have to fight with you over this one, Lord, because that is your word. And I read the whole chapter in the other two videos. Please watch the other two videos if you want to get what it says in there, or get it yourself, and don't watch the videos, and read it yourself. Then I'll argue with him over it, okay? Shalom. Yeshua Mashiach loves you. Maranatha, very soon.